Hey friend, how are you? Welcome to our Sensi family. Welcome to your Sensi journey. It is time to get your business started. Are you ready? I put together this quick video to help you launch your party with a launch party checklist. If you will refer to the document in the description below, I've put together a checklist that will go along nicely with this video and this video just gives a little more explanation on each of these 10 steps. Okay, first things first. Remember, the first three things, recoup start startup co costs get your first promotion, and then earn the Shooting Star Award. My friends, your Sensi launch party can help you do all of these things. Let's break it down into 10 easy steps. Step one, pick your party style. Do you wanna have a traditional home party? Would you like to do an open house? You could launch online if you want to. What is your style? I found with the consultants that I've helped launched over the year that most of them like to do the open house just because it's easy and then people that can't come right when it starts, they can come at a time that's convenient for them and it just seems to be easier that way. But you pick the style that resonates with you. Step two, it's time to pick your date. Now, I found over the years that typically weeknights work best because with the weekends a lot of the times people want to be out with their families especially if it's seasons that they're out doing fun fun activities or be spending time outdoors with their family so usually a weeknight is the best and if you did an open house then they could come during that time when it works for them also one important thing to note when picking your date if you're working to earn the shooting star award you need to have this party closed by or on your 15th day of your business Step three, create your guest list. Typically, they, we found that one in three people that are invited will actually show up to your party. So here you want to over invite. You want to invite between 30 and 50 people because again, one in three of those will actually come to the party. And then one thing, if you're thinking, oh my heck, I don't even know that many people, again, refer to the document in the description of this video and you will be able to be a link to a document that can help you create 30 guests in 30 minutes. So see, in five minutes, you could easily have 50 people down to invite. Step four, invitations. Okay, this part, I want you to remember to keep it simple. Yeah, you could go out and make all these fancy invitations, but then when people see this, remember you want to be able to be duplicatable. When people see this and they see that you went to all this work with these invitations, they'll think, I could never do this. So keep it simple, my friend. Keep it easy on you. You've got other things going. I Again, after doing this for all, throughout the years, I found that a fun text message invite works just as well as addressing and mailing out physical invitations. One thing that makes it fun, though, is don't just do... Um, like a text message, do a, a fun image. So like if you love Snapchat filters or you could put together, like if you have the app word swag, you could put together um, an image and then you could either put the information on there or do the image along with the information and text and do it that way and that would work when creating your invitations. But remember, keep them simple. Step five, create a communication timeline. Okay, this is nice. This is a system that I've used over the years and I fine tuned and tweaked it and it's worked really nicely. So give it a try and then in your future parties, you can always fine tune and tweak to make it your ways. But this is what you're gonna do. 10 days out from the event, I want you to create a Facebook event and I want you to invite the people that you're inviting to the party to this event because then you can start to create excitement and FOMO in your posts and your pictures to get them excited to be able to come to this party and be able to keep it top of mind for them. Seven days out, what you're going to do is remember that invitation that you created, you're going to send it out to the people that you've invited. And then finally, the day before the event, you are going to send out another just quick text reminder to the people that you've partied with or that you've invited to your party. And you'll just say, hey, I can't wait to see you tomorrow night. I'm so excited for you to smell the new scent. Something that simple. Put it out and again, you've already texted them the invite so it'll tag their message to the top and then they'll be able to see the invite from there. So it's exciting. Follow the process and remember, keep kind of posting every few days and then more so towards as it gets closer to the event in your Facebook event page and create that excitement. Step six, 
you need to set your goal for your party. If you don't have any aim and you're like, I'm just having my launch party, it's like taking a bow and arrow with a blindfold on and shooting it and hoping that you hit a target. So if you will come up and take a few minutes and say, okay, this is where I want to set a goal to be, then you are going to be more likely to put those processes in place so that you can achieve it. I recommend that you go for $500 because $500, if you have your launch party in that first 15 days, will earn you the Shooting Star Award. Heck, you could even go for $1,000 and then that would accomplish your first three things of getting your Shooting Star Award, recouping your startup costs, and making your first Sensi promotion and getting your first big pay raise. Now, when you hear those numbers, 500 and 1,000, it's easy to be like, oh, that's so much. But I want you to break it down. A $500 party is 10 people ordering $50 each, right? Or a thousand dollar party, 20 people ordering $50 each. Break it down into bite sized chunks, and then it's not quite so daunting. But my friends, this is very possible and very doable if you will do the work. Step seven collect outside orders and save the sale. Remember, in the previous step, we talked about how you were going to you set your goal of either like a $500 party or a $1,000 party. Well, in this step, you can help to make that happen because before the actual physical event even happens, you could be on your way to $500 in sales by doing this thing. Now say you invited Andrea to your launch party and then Andrea texts back, dang it, I'm not gonna be able to make it. I'm so sad my kid has a soccer game that night. So instead of like, oh, darn it, bummer, you know, okay, you can do one thing that can save that cell and still make her be happy as well and get sense in her life. So when she texts you that, you simply reply back, oh my gosh, that's such a bummer. I'm gonna miss you so much but are you still interested in ordering? Because I've got scents and catalogs and you can totally look at it before the event and still get your order in so that you can get some of those yummy scents. Do you see how you're able to save the sale that way? And then the second part is collecting outside orders. So for the people that you didn't invite to your party, there still may be people that want scents. For example, at your husband's work, maybe he could take the testers and the order forms and some catalogs and take them to work and collect orders from coworkers there and be able to use those to put towards your launch party. Uh, party totals. Do you see how it's possible to get these orders as you just start thinking outside of the box, just not the people that come to the event, but outside as well. Step eight, it's time to prep for the actual event. Again, in all of these different areas, remember to keep it simple, especially if this is your first party, first time out, you're learning the ropes, keep it simple on yourself. Okay, refreshments. Over the years, again, I've learned, they don't really necessarily eat them, so don't go spend all your money on these fancy treats because chances are they're probably not gonna eat them anyways. You could do something simple like make up a batch of cookies or a batch of brownies. And then for the drinks, you could go buy a case of bottled water or even just make a fun lemon water thing in a picture, picture and that would be good. Or grab a couple of two liter sodas with some ice, but keep it simple. All right, event setup. Again, all you need is the stuff that came in your starter kit. That's enough to set out for a display. And then the testers go to the catalog and you'll see how they're grouped in different categories like bakery, citrus, floral, fruity. Those air, think those catalog, those categories that are in the catalog separate your testers by that. Now by the end of the event, they're gonna be all over the place, but in the beginning, at least they'll be somewhat organized. So some, when someone's looking through the catalog and they're like, oh, I wanna smell ocean, what does that smell like? You can go exactly to that category and easily locate that tester. And then finally, the last thing that you're going to want to do at the actual event is collect good information. Use your order forms. Everything that's on the top of that order form, make sure you get all of that information for all of those customers that place orders because that is how you're gonna be able to start to create your follow-up system because you have good information. Step nine, get more bookings. Okay, the purpose of your launch party is to not only, yes, to launch your business, but also to launch future bookings. This is how you start to get out of your warm market as fast as you can and into your cold market where you start to grow and expand your customer base. So ask everybody, don't prejudge when you're, you know, like, oh, they, they would never wanna have a party, they're too busy. Don't, like, let them tell you that. You don't assume that. And especially where this is your launch party, these are all people that love you 
you can ask them, hey, would you mind to, would you want to host a party and get stuff for free and half price? Remember, they, you, the acronym TINY, their interest, not yours. Make this all about them. It's not host a party for me, but it's, hey, you want to get your stuff for free or half price? Hey, you could totally get all that stuff on your wish list for like super cheap. Let's do it. You would do such a good job. And then you can ask them. They don't have to do the traditional party. They can do a Facebook party. They can do a basket party. They could do a home party, but they could theme it and make it fun. It doesn't have to be the norm, same old, same old. We could make it exciting. Now, if you're like, ah, what is this? Remember, go on our team page, go in the unit section, and under the, it's party time, all of these different ideas of different parties that you can offer are in there to get you started. So don't stress about it. But if you can get these bookings from, like try to get at least two bookings from your launch party, that will propel you forward to the next step. And that's how you keep that momentum going. Okay, final step. Step 10, sponsor a new recruit. My friends, this is a perfect, again, opportunity. These are the people that you love, some of your most favorite people. Who would you love to have on this journey with you? Who would be like that dream team person that like where you've just started their business, your business, you guys could do this together. Again, don't prejudge anybody. Ask all of them like, oh my heck, you should totally do this with me. You would be so good at it. Make it fun like that. Again, it's all about how it can help them. Also be looking over your guest list. Like who, what could this business bless? Like who maybe has just put braces on their kid or is trying to save up for a mission trip or weddings or could use extra money for a car payment or anything. Look for those ways that when you share the opportunity, you can share it based on what you know about that person and how this could help them to do that. So set a goal always at your parties, getting bookings, getting expanding customer base and getting new recruits. And as you, if you can get that new recruit, that helps you be able to start to work towards your first leadership promotion in Sensi. Okay, my friends, those are your 10 steps. It's not bad at all, right? And remember to look over that um, document that I've created that's in the description below of this of this video and it goes over again all of the things that we've talked about so that you can have a successful launch party but just remember this is a learning experience you're gonna learn from it fine-tune tweak evaluate and that is how you get better but make this happen and you will be successful because crazy consistency is the key to success in this business I wish you an amazing launch party and I can't wait to see how it goes bye friend <laughs>